Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can utilize Google's advanced features for open source intelligence. If you want to know about the fundamentals of using Google search engine for OSINT, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You will find the link to it in the description box below. Now, I will demonstrate some advanced features of Google search engine that you can utilize during OSINT activities. You are a threat intelligence analyst who is currently tasked with researching about remote access Trojans written in Go programming language. You are looking for some recently written malware samples. You have decided to look at samples written by red teamers that have been uploaded to GitHub. For this, you can utilize the site filter, followed by the phrase remote access Trojan within quotes. Then the Go programming language is specified. In the results, we can see that pages with the phrase go to file and word goes have been identified. Let's make this search query more specific by inserting go within quotes. We can see fewer results now. To only see results from the last six months, we can utilize the tools menu to specify a custom date range. Here, the month is specified first, followed by the day and year. We can see the filtered results. The samples in these links can be studied to understand how remote access Trojans have been developed using Go. As you progress during an OSINT investigation, you may come across social media posts or web pages where the content is presented in a foreign language. Let's translate this content into English using Google's Translate service. The content appears to be in Polish. The web page referenced in this tweet is also entirely in Polish. You can translate this page into English simply by copying this URL and providing it to Google Translate. To translate content in images, you can utilize Google Lens on your mobile device. Google News Archive has scanned copies of archived newspapers. Some papers date back to even the mid-19th century. You can utilize Google search operators in the News Archive during OSINT activities. Melissa virus was an email virus that appeared in the late 90s. Let's observe if there are any news articles about it between 1999 and 2005. There is one search result. It is about the virus creator's arrest that was published in the Times Daily newspaper in 2002. Google Scholar is a specialized search engine that searches across academic journals, thesis, dissertations, conference papers, legal opinions, etc. You can utilize Google search operators in Google Scholar too. Now I will search for academic literature on cloud forensics. To filter results based on a specific author, the author keyword can be used. This is useful when you are investigating the work of one specific target. Google Patents is a search engine that lets you search specifically for patents and patent applications.
you can use operators to improve your searches. This feature is useful when you are investigating the work of a specific company or an individual. Google also allows you to create a custom search engine. Navigate to the programmable search engine homepage. You need to be logged into a Google account for this task. Let's create a custom search engine that performs searches only across four cybersecurity news sites. Now our custom search engine is ready. Let us perform a search for Agent Tesla. Now, let us search for web pages that talk about Agent Tesla and Snake Keylogger. There we go. In this way, you can create a custom search engine during an OSINT investigation to search across specific websites. You can also set up alerts using Google to send you emails when content has been published on the web based on the query you have provided. Now, we will create an alert to notify us about new web content on ransomware with the word Bitcoin in the URL. You can edit the parameters associated with the alert. Here, in the preview section, we can see the most recent web pages identified by your query. I hope you have a good idea now about how the different features of Google can be used for open source intelligence. Pick a target and practice using these features. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!